be on live, I think, by the look of it. Maybe. Can't see a picture, mind. Hey, there we go. Why is it's really crappy quality? Headphones. Marvelous. I'm going to pause that because I don't need that running at the same time. Exit that. Let's get the iPad set up a second. time I do this and never end up getting a picture on you. Uh, I always got to press another button. I'll got to in the middle. Oh. Right, okay, I got a picture. Are we live on the channel? I think we are. That goes down the console now in a second. I think we're live. Yeah, we are. Hey, hey. And we are live. Right then. I'm going to start off tonight with a bit of Mega Drive, I think. And I'm going to go for... A mad stalker. Oh, just thought I didn't have sound then all of a sudden. Ooh, nice sound as well on the headset. Sounds pretty awesome. I think this is probably the best version of this game. It doesn't look as good as the Sharp X 68000 version. It does have a few more bit uh, levels of power X and it does have a four they are the foreground layer as well, which is not on the Mega Drive one. And but I think the I think the music is probably better on the Mega Drive one. And I think the game plays a little bit better and it's a little bit more fair. But the sharp version is crazy. Some of the bosses are just crazy hard. So I think ultimately this might actually be the best version of this game. Um, I don't know if I've done my buttons, actually. Hey, Dean, how's it going, mate? Let's see if I've done my buttons. Nope, I haven't. How's it going, buddy? How's the house life? How's your week been? Damn it. I like this game, still haven't managed to finish it, mind. Still want to try and do it on one credit. I promise it gets pretty tricky on level 4 and 5. things. I'm not taking much energy, so it's all good. That's it, dead. Oh, 
I didn't want to pick that up in. Very close to. Yeah. Uh, I I need to sort of uh, play the shot sugars version and try and finish it. That's pretty good going if you've nearly done it, mind. That's pretty good going. I should try and do Do Don Apache on you, shouldn't I? Try and do a one crate of that. Yeah. It's a nightmare when you get keep it you get close to the end or the end and uh and keep screwing you over. That's what happens to be on um, Escaluda. A last boss is a nightmare, man. I might do a review with this game, I was thinking about doing it. Those little guys are a pain in the ass. Oops, probably didn't want to do that. Oh, messed that up. Jump over me. Too far in the corner then. That guy's number. Oh, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, nightmare. Yeah, you'll get it with more practice. That's pretty good if you're getting it with five lives. That's. If I got to the last boss in Escaludo with five lives, I could probably do it. I wonder if these guys fall for the uh, short version of that slide. So I've only ever credit fed um, that game to actually finish it. When, I, when it first came out, I think I had a play through it just to see what was coming next. They, they never released this game back in the day. It's pretty much finished. Ugh. 
Yeah, black label's hard, isn't it? That's interesting, they fall for the weak version, not the heavy version. I think I found a new way to handle these things. Into it on the floor. That seems to work quite well then. Yeah, black labels, uh, even white labels. It's, well, the white labels even harder essentially, but um, yeah, it's a hard game. It's, it's a good game, isn't it? I can't do that well on here. I can maybe get to the fourth level on on a credit if I'm lucky. The problem with cave games is once you once you know about scoring on them. Oh man, I find it really hard to play them once you know the score without even trying the scoring. Not if I know the scoring that much in that game, but. Um... How bad. Ah, damn it. This is like um, the Mega Drive's long lost Ninja Warriors. Ah, that's fair enough. Yeah, Black Label's very good. I hate this bastard. Damn, I didn't want to pick that up. Some nice uh, hits in the corner then. Oh, I kicked his ass then, but yeah. Yeah, trying to score on it makes the game really hard, doesn't it? I, I tend to just, just try to go to survive. That's good, that. they actually fall for the light version. That's wicked. Yeah, I find that with shmups, like, it's very hard to ignore the scoring sometimes.
best way to do it is just put the keep doing them. Oh, I hate this lift. Now I know he falls for the weak version. I'm going to leave that energy there if I can. Jump in because I don't want our bastard to get me. Yeah, it is handy for the extra extends, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it is cheating. Oh, it's for practice, I suppose, but... Yeah, it's cheating. Let's not lie to each other. the NG there this time. Oh, then again, I think it cuts me off. <laughs> Shall I go for it? Uh... Yeah, let's go for it. I find this tactic works quite well in this boss if you catch him in a good, a good loop. He's a nightmare if you want to stand in and try and block him. Try and get him in that corner you want him. We'll try and get him from a distance. Very lucky in the bosses so far. Oh, it's tomorrow, is there? I was wondering when it was. Ah, okay. Oh, I know, I can imagine that. Rise of the Robots, what a terrible game that is. <laughs> it's really bad that game is. Yeah, so Kumite is tomorrow, is there? Do, do you know what time it's starting? I have to look that up. I won't be streaming tomorrow in the fast again. I'll have a look now. Um, I haven't seen anyone posting about it. I know Mark MSX was uh, saying he was practicing for it. Uh, so look, let's get on Twitter. Ah, right. Okay. Cool. I'm definitely up for that tomorrow. Oh well, that's streaming for tomorrow night out of the question. I'm sitting there all on my own. 
more chin shrubs. Oh god, let's slow down. I'm not for the red thing is screw me over. Little shit. Right, okay. You what? Do not want to get trapped between the two of them. Like they love to do too. Ooh. I want to be back from work. Right, okay. Yeah, I'll have to have a look at it. I'm not quite sure what the choice of games are either. Are they doing some uh, unusual stuff this, this time? Not just your, your normal sort of um, games. I hate these things, they're so random. Now, this one coming up is a nightmare. You got this bastard. I don't want to go too far forward, because oh, that thing's going to turn up. Red things absolute bastard on this thing. I can get I can get him basically if I can just get rid of that. Oh, I got some nice hits on it then. That thing purposely hangs around him as well. Oh, come on. This bit's really tricky on you. Oh, did he? What the hell? Hey, evening, mate. How's it going? Welcome to the room. Yeah, Battle Gregor is always good to watch, that is. Ah, playing for survival. Yeah, we'll see. 
It'd be interesting anyway. Quite surprised they did that bit. That that bit is tricky. Didn't leave me much energy for this bit though. When they jump over you, they uh, drop a, like a bomb, like that. That was a lovely ending. I managed to kill them. That was good. <sighs> Damn, is it a boss here? Do I pick that up? I'm gonna have to pick it up some energy's low anyway, so Oh yeah, Friday's fantastic. Ah <sighs> right, here we go then. Can't remember what boss. Oh this guy, I hate this guy. Got a plan from him though that does tend to work. Like jump from a distance, that's it. Catch him at the end of your toe. He doesn't have time normally to hit you. Yeah, that's why I want him to back off. Back off is good. Right at that distance, you do, because this guy's a bastard. Shouldn't have gone for that, that was a bit silly. You get too close to him, he can always hit you. I'll say back off. Ooh. It's a pretty good run. Ah, good evening, mate. How's it going? One more quarter, that's the way. No, it's the Meg Drive version. I think this is probably the best version. To be honest. The sharp version looks a little bit nicer and it's got some foreground sort of uh, power lex as well and it's got a little bit more power lex in this version but some of the bosses are some bastards. That was meant to be a jump. Oh my god, that's not good. That's a bad move I'm going yet. 
Oh my god, these guys are absolutely ruining me. Yeah, it is really good. I, I I don't know why they didn't release it back in the day. Like this, could, this would have done really well, I reckon. The right, best way to do them is just do the jump over. The PC Engine version is good as well. This got like two extra characters on it and CD CD quality music. I'm going to know that robot there. I need to get these out of the way, otherwise I'm in trouble, basically. Got about him. I hate those red things. Right, okay, I can deal with him then, hopefully. Ah, damn, you got it. NG's rubbish. NG be nice. It's concentrating the one, I think. I don't think I've managed to get past this level on the, um, the sharp version. That's it, okay, that's what I want to do. Damn, Arvengi. Oh, nice, that's the way. Well, we may as well continue. You picked up a low lag monitor as well, have you? Yeah, you do sort of adjust to it, you know? Like, if you're playing on the PlayStation Classic, it's not that bad. Uh, the PlayStation Classic obviously got a few frames, but you can adjust to it quite easy enough. I've beaten loads of games on it. But yeah, basically, the lower the lag is better, obviously. Ah, uh, that's the way, the cold of the mist is the way to go. <laughs> you will adapt, actually. <laughs> you can adapt to some things, can you? I think if it's constant lag, you can adapt to it. But if it's like lag that's all over the place, that makes it really hard to adapt to. It is a little bit, yeah. And that car's Kiwi, though. You're sort of stuck on levels, are you, basically? You can scroll all over the level, but you've just got to kill so many enemies. It's all right, that game. It's not bad. Didn't uh, lose so much energy. Yet. Do get a bit of a drought of energy pickups on this level. I was 
quite nice of him to walk into my uh, kick, so I'm going to have a that. I don't do the slide on them then, because that's a bad idea. That orb it is, that kicks your ass. That orb is a nightmare. This game gets quite tough after this bit. You've got a bit with like force fields or barriers to turn up. It's quite hard. Oh, you hit me. That was naughty. This game is definitely good enough to be released. Do not want to get in the middle of them, it's a bad idea. I went far off that NG last time, wasn't I? Now this bit's hard, I, I can't, I don't think I've ever passed this bit. They can come to me. Right, actually, I don't want to go too far because I might tick, trigger off the other ones. up here, I think. I do not want to get trapped. On both sides, that would be a really bad idea. Yep, like that. Stuck in. I have to do the jumping trick, I think. Oh, you shit. Right, okay. NG. Why is he red? I don't like the look of that. He's a grabber anyway, know that.
He's a bit tricky. Don't like our battery over there. Little tricky little shits here. Eh? Oh, and they, they can't stay too far on the ground. Little shits grab you as well. Oh, you bastard. What's going on in the chat? I haven't. I've um, I've skipped everything from Europe because of the extra charges on there at the moment. Apparently, they're pretty bad. Yeah, my mate's waiting for an item from... I'm not sure where it's coming from, actually. Might be Germany. It's, it's coming from... Yeah, I go with that because uh, cars could be. Yeah, it's a bit crazy. I think it, I think half of these people who are importing games now and exporting them just haven't got a clue what to do. And you're picking up charges off the post office, you're picking up the import charge, you're picking up that extra duty charge which is going on, and then the companies are charging you on top. And like I say, if things are taking ages to turn up, I think. Is the item you got sending, is it, um, is it sent with any sort of tracking or um, any insurance or anything? Four weeks is a long time. Europe was normally fast, wasn't it? Normally, I don't order stuff from Europe and it turn up within, I don't know, three, four days. Well, I hope whatever we bought is going to turn up soon. Starts to be for manure, that's cool. That's interesting, it's starting to be at the boss of it. Oh, it has. Go on, don't look at him. Oh, I have fought him before, he's nailed. So this sucker's got a big re big buddy uh, reach as well. Now oh, I might lose an energy I think when I get when he hits me as well. Oh good hell, don't want to sign it. Got him down quite a bit. Come on, move. I can do the big jump just to get above him. Oh my god, leave me alone. I think that's winning me the energy the energy war, so <sighs> that was lucky. The nightmare that is because once it's stuck in customs, you, you essentially you're just waiting, isn't it? There's nothing else you can do about it. Like you're just stuck waiting. 
Hmm. It's not a good sign that um, trading with Europe is actually working properly, is it? After whatever this deal they've they've done with them, doesn't sound like it's actually working correctly. Because you know, trade with Europe now should, you know, should be like it was before, shouldn't it? Easy, but obviously not. Uh, I hope it turns up. Oh my god, is this a boss battle fight again? That's not funny. You got lasers. Yeah, my mates bought a, a Mister from uh, Europe as well, which hasn't shipped yet. You should have just got one from this country, because he's going to end up paying um, stupid duty on it as well. Oh my god, i got bosses with this small little shit fighting me as well. Oh my god, that's not funny. deal with this boss on his own, but not with these little bastards as well. Right. I'm in a really awkward position with this guy. a little bit closer to him. It's gonna be another boss in it. Need that. Oh great. Right, okay, we got it. want to get him too close to me. I say, fuck it off, go away. Now, I'm a little bit too far away from the men. Weird noise he made then. Sword guy. At least he has a good full NG. Ooh, bloody hell. Not jumping up straight in the air is not good. Block, that's it. No, oh, okay. I still hit you when you block. Yeah, you're right. It isn't working. I haven't read that deal. I should read it and see what the hell's going on. It's probably the same deal as we had before in bloody deal in um, Europe. Should have just bloody stayed in Europe, basically. Come on. 
Okay, had him pretty decent. Probably not a good idea to stay in the corner. Alright, okay. I think it's a good idea I take those red those red guys out first. I don't want to get too close to him, but I do not want to hit him and stay away from him either. That sword thing he does as well really hurts. get away from him quick enough. I'm scared. Right, okay, I can get him with a weak kick. That's handy. Okay, I've learned something. Shouldn't I? I wonder what the hell's at the end of it though. good. Teabag it. Have a teabag. Bad wolf. Didn't like the teabag in. Now if I could just separate the red ones. Right. That's a good stab, wasn't it? too close. I'm way too close. Come on, back off. I 
Come out of here. Right, okay, so double jump. Do a double jump. Now I see I need to get away from him. Damn he's he's a tricky little bastard. Oh, he didn't like RD. Okay. Okay, so he's weak to the down kick then. Only three seconds left as well. I still think it's just going to be a tough one, CC. I just wanted to carry on doing that kick on me. Ooh, okay, that was, uh, that was interesting. Oh, why did I put myself in the corner? Right. Oh. I hate this shit. Fuck off. Oh, come on. gonna get me. Oh you little bastard! Ah <laughs> no! Ah. 
hell is he doing? Oh well, at least I, I definitely that down kick in mechanic seems to work quite well on him. He just tricked me into the blocking. I do that every time. Right, okay. At least I haven't got full full energy because that'd be a bit of a nightmare. That energy there, I think. Do not want to get that energy. Right, okay. A little bit closer, my leg in. Right, okay. We're doing pretty good on the uh, NG. Done that, I think. A little bit too slow, then, I think. Oh, damn. Block, 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 block. Come on, jump at me, jump at me, that's what I want. Come on, jump, jump, jump. Come on, bit forward, bit forward, just a little bit. <coughs> right. I'm dead. Was that the timeout then? Oh, you're kidding me, that was a timeout, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a timeout. Oh. oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was a timeout, I can't believe it. I don't know if you gotta kill him, you gotta kill him bloody fast. Come on, jump! Right, 
Well, he's not playing game, is he? Oh, I can't believe I was a timeout. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Uh, I guess I got a little bit of time to deal with these little wrenches. I can't believe I was a time right? I'm trying to do it faster, but it's just not working. <laughs> oh, funny. Alright, that's the red one's gone. Gotta go with it. This little bastard. Oh, come on. Two engines not gonna do it, is it? I think you can't. You gotta be careful, this guy. You get too close to him, he just grabs you and throws you around. Walk a bit forward. Three seconds. Come on, die, die, come on. Like he was a was a hard wall. Ooh, what the hell are they? Okay. Okay, getting, getting inside there is not a good idea. Oh shit, they hit you as well. It's not good. running on this bit as well. Okay, I see him again. Okay, I hate this shit. Oh my god, he's got a good uppercut now as well. Oh my god. Okay, ruin me, why don't you?
Okay, so he does fall for that as well. Sort of. Not bad too. Okay, he's a bit odd. Yeah, it's man. This guy's odd. That's very tricky to get in with that. I didn't mean to do that then. A loop, man. Okay, go away. Ooh, that's a way. How close was that? I literally had a gnat cock full of like, an energy left. It has a bit, yeah. It's like it's like the long lost Mega Drive Ninja Warriors. It's a tricky game, mind. Especially later on, as soon as you start it in level five, it's getting us hard. It was really close to it. <laughs> well, that's the first time I've actually managed to beat it. I know it wasn't exactly one credit, but um I still wanna try and do it on one credit, but that's gonna be a that's gonna be a tricky one credit, I think. Yeah, I know. That'd be a very tricky one, TC. It's probably going to be possible, though. Well, that is a pretty tough game. I don't unlock anything, I'm probably thinking of more modern games.
See that thing with the um oh, I did go off really fast, that's cool. Yeah, cheers. That was hard. <laughs> I like that game, oh, it's good fun. Okay. Actually, before I do that, probably having sort of com versus. Not like a two player mode. Oh, right, yeah, cool. That's the boy you want. The old rising dog. That guy's hard. That's cool, you get two player uh, versus mode. Yeah, second loop. I can imagine that game if it was harder again. That would be funny. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a go with um, Xeno Crisis. I still haven't had my Neo Geo version of that yet. I don't know what's happening with it, but... Uh, I bought the ROM of it. Ages ago, but uh, I pre-ordered the Neo Geo CD version, but I haven't had it yet. I don't know, I'll have to... Last time I heard that they were... They had all the CDs and stuff ready. They were just waiting for some extra bits or something. Yeah, it's it is a good game. It's a really cool game, actually. Crisis. Right, let's have a look how this is going to work on a stick. It might be a bit awkward. Try it out now. <coughs> okay. Right, so on the Mega Drive free button pad then. Okay, it's just push your direction. Hmm, okay. We'll go with that. Actually, I don't mind it, I guess, actually. Quite compared to just pushing the directions. It's a really nice Mega Drive game, it says. I want to play the new Jew version of You gotta remember to stay away from the doors. music this game as well. Alright, right, you got to let go of fire then to, uh, to roll. Continue. Use my credit set.
Well, quite now I haven't got used to the buttons yet. I might see if I can turn the six button pad on. It is configured on you, so. Is there an option to use six button pad? Click no a minute. Yeah, Smash TV was a classic. Aha, six button. Alright, so A B. Shoot out, shoot. Yeah, with the with the layout on the joystick, it might make it slightly awkward, but Grenade moves out of the way. Uh, okay, let's just go with that. Just have to get used to it. Okay, that's roll. I don't know which one because grenade. Oh, this is weird on a joystick. Yep, I don't like on a joystick. Ah <laughs> oh, man, that's really weird. I need a pad for that, I think. Because the buttons on the joystick are not quite sort of up, down, left, right. Let's, go, let's just go back to as it was. I, did, I hated Total Carnage, I've got to admit. I didn't like that game much at all. Oh shit, I don't want to. Hang on. Let me reset. Yeah, it didn't do that well, Total Carnage, either, is it? Right, okay, so controller options. Shoot and roll, so it basically shoot grenades and roll. Uh, I might just turn it back to as it was. Yeah, okay, cool. Remember loaded. Here we go in. Oh, the one do I Yeah, on a joystick, I think this way seems a little bit better with the button layout. This game would suit like a SNES type pad, wouldn't it? Because the button on the sn the button layout and the SNES pads are pretty much perfect for this type of thing. tags because you need them for money to shop the end of the um, end of each stage oh we didn't see how that I wasn't looking over there. <laughs> this is definitely a little bit different on a joystick. Yeah, it's a nice game, this is. Consider it's a new game as well, it's pretty wicked. The 
new G version looks even better. Let's dump all these bombs into this guy. Remember, I gotta let go of fire to turn. I gotta hold it down, right? Okay. Um, bit too close. Get used to it. Yeah, they do look like Escape from Devil Crash. That's a good game. Right, so I'm going to get, I'm get one of them. One of them. Perfect. I was going to actually buy the Mega Drive cartridge of this, but I um, ended up getting the new Dual Vision in the end, but it's just a shame that they haven't released it yet. Oops. Getting hit too much here. this weapon. Definitely trickier on a, uh, on a joystick because of the button layout. extra about turning around and firing. Gives a little opportunity to get hit. Get over there. Damn his tail. Watch his tail. So roll again.
Christ. Yeah, maybe. I love Devil Crisis. Um, Devil Crush, sorry. Really good pinball games there, especially for the time they came out. Still fun now. And uh, still got kick ass music on as well. Kept the uh, grenades for the boss actually, but oh well. Oh, shit, I haven't got a weapons. Jackie Crush. <laughs> yeah, I never played that one that much. It's not bad. It's not as good as Devil Crush, but... I wonder why that... It's got slowdown, haven't it? I wonder what it's like on the core on this, if you turn the slowdown off. Interesting. It might be actually better if you turn the slowdown off. Yeah, I remember it not being as good as the rest of them. It's not bad, Jackie, because it's, it's uh, gone up in price lately, you mind? Because I, I, I was looking to pick it up maybe about a year ago, and it was like 50, 60 quid, maybe more than at the time. to buy that room in. Oh. 
up. Oh, I got clipped by a bullet. I'm a back. Yeah, I definitely uh, would have liked to pick it up, but it was uh What am I doing? Just fire. I said use your use your gun. Use your gun's good. Oh damn. Alright, we're gonna watch out. You're concentrating on the one side of the screen. Right. Good start. We're gonna kill this bloody thing this time. Last credit. There is a pattern to this guy, if I remember rightly. I had to go over there then, that was a bad move. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll have a go over it. Check it with the, um, the turbo patch thing on it. <coughs> Power is always good. Looks like I can afford that again. This game starts getting tricky for this level. Speak. Keep forgetting you can't roll with your own dumb fire. That would be a rather nice upgrade to this if you could do that. What's interesting? You press fire when you hold it down, it swaps around. Yeah, okay. There's obviously a reason to that then. Good enough. Xeno crisis. Xeno crisis. So if I got a pad that roughly works out, I have actually this satin pad. Um, hang on then.
need to change profiles, I reckon. Uh, actually, all right, okay. Right, I'm learning something here. So this does actually override. Let's try the pad. Up. A, B, C, start, mode, X, X. Okay. Why doesn't that work then when it's... Just trying to work out why these... It, I can't go up and down. Is it because the other pads play? The joystick's still plugged in? It just allowed me to configure it in the menu, so... Ah, right, because it's playing as uh, player two. Ah, okay. Interesting. So it's all Matty. Right, hang on. I wonder if I. Let me retry the core a minute and see if it picks it up. Actually, I'll do a reset on the mister. Yeah, it's not terrible, the PAL pad. I actually went back and played um, on a, a Model 1 PAL pad uh, a little while ago. And even though that it's nowhere near as good as the Generation 2 pad, like the Japanese ones, it's still actually, even though it looks a bit weird with the weird dots around it, it it's, it's actually not a bad pad. It still controls really well. I was quite I was quite surprised. I didn't, I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. It's not as good as the proper satin pads, but... It's not awful, put it that way, and it's a lot better than a lot of a lot of the pads you can buy these days. Um, right. Let's try it on the pad. The buttons are a little bit more in the right area. Zeno crisis. Let's see what happens. I'm used to playing this on a. Um, Ooh. On an 8-bit dough pad. Oh, I need 6-button support, don't I? Okay, let me... Um, let me reset this a second, because I need to put 6-button pad on. It is, but the actual... I was surprised. The actual D-pad is, as much as it's awful compared to the second one, it actually works really well. I wasn't expecting it. But yeah, they, they're nowhere near as good as the, uh, what everyone calls satin pads. Satin pads are fantastic in me, to be honest. All right, let's try this with a pad that the buttons are roughly in the right direction. Why can't I fire? Uh, did I not put that on six button support? Or was it just me? Okay, why can't I... Oh, hang on. Put down left, right. A, B, C. Start. Oops. Yeah. No. Messed that up. A, B, C. Start mode X Y X. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not working. They're working. Interesting. Why is that? It? Oh, Joy six six button mode. Yes. Ah, maybe that. Hang on. All right. Okay. Cool. Look it out in the end.
a bit do of a roll on the top and just to make it a bit easier. Definitely better on a uh, pad. Time's in. I could probably get that button set up actually where I want it for um, doing the roll. I might do that actually. So I want one right, left, down, up, A, B, C, B, there, start, mode can go there. Okay, we'll try that. Ooh, are you? Mushy Sama, really? Ooh, that is a damn good game. I, I dread to ask how much it's probably going for. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I would definitely have one if I had the money to buy one, put it that way. Mushy Sam is an awesome game. Can you get the 1.5 PCB? Or is it just the um, vanilla mode one? They're both good, mind. All I can say is, if you could afford it, because I can't imagine that being cheap. That's uh, it's a nice little present to yourself, that's all I can say. Yeah, you got the roll in the right place now, cool. Never owned any of cave uh, PCBs, proper ones anyway. The PGM knockoffs, yeah. <laughs> That's the way. Encourage him to get it, get it dead, that's the way. I think if I had a cab and I was collecting cave games, so I'd do it. Yeah, I'm got confused there where my button was. Oh, didn't want to go that way.
It won't get any cheaper, there is definitely that. I'm getting confused now where we are swapping between things. This is quite nice on the um, new consoles. You can use twin sticks for doing it. Yeah, they're both good, the original and 1.5. I think any of them you, you sort of quit in on, to be honest. Really? I'm surprised, because you would think they'd be snapped up pretty quick. That's very true. <laughs> That's a way. Well, I'd say go for it if you can afford it. You're gonna get you're gonna get your money's worth out of it, and it's probably like a little investment as well. It's gonna go up in price. Awkward then with that one right in the corner.
very true, we can't lose. <laughs> oh, if you were looking for somebody to tell you not to buy it because it was stupid, you're definitely not going to get it in this room. To level six on this before. Please is good. Pretty funky soundtrack in this game as well. Get them plants for bloody mouth things because they bloody uh, they keep jumping around, which is a pain in the ass. Oh. oh, great. Now I need to go. Oh, good, 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 good. Let's get out of there. Oh, we got it. to get through there then. Situation going on now. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Oh, great! It's covered in the corner. Too close to the enemies, eh? Oh, 
Oh no. Ah, damn, I forgot about it. Ah. Xeno Crisis. You got two caps now, Rudy. Have you? Fair enough, yeah, cab's the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Yep, of course it's clear. Right, let's check this uh, joystick back in. Let's have a go with Dodo and Patchy. Dodo and Patchy. See if uh, when I reset this now, maybe the first joystick you pick up when you reset it, or the first pad you use, becomes pad number one. Makes sense. <laughs> That's also fair enough. Do it on patch. Which version should we play? Go for the original. Ah, right, sorry. <laughs> you definitely got a nice collection of uh, boards going here. Yeah, it is, to be honest. Emulation's great as well. Originals, emulation, whichever, whichever you want to work out, it's all good. Okay, right, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, I need to do my uh, buttons properly on this stick. Right, left, down, up, shot, laser, full auto, start, coin. Uh, pause me. Why not? Yeah, the emulation is great as well. Countdown This is a bit of a classic cave game, isn't it, to be honest. Yeah, you do, yeah. Emulation's not quite perfect on the cave games, is it? The sound is definitely not perfect on them. And yeah, I, I find it, it isn't... Cave emulation is not quite smack on, to be honest. It's still good, though. I suppose if you've never owned the arcade boards, how do you know exactly what is correct and what isn't? Oh, I'd love to have Outzone and Escaluda, proper version. 
Tattoo Zing, yeah. Tattoo Tattoo Zing is definitely one worth getting. Hang on. Yeah, you can easily hook it up to a cab as well. That would be, uh, the Mister would be a great option to have as well as your boat. You could turn your cab into like a full on and almost like covers every console, every, every computer, every, well not every arcade, but a lot of all the arcades you want to play and you've got, the, you've got your boards as well, your originals. A trapped in the corner. I thought I had enough time to sort of nip out the corner then. Obviously not. I get to these bosses now, I just want to take them apart bit by bit. Just shows extra points. It's that star bonus, eh? Start up from the start again. Yeah, it's not it's not quite perfect though. It, it does run good, but it's the emulation on some of those old games are not perfect. PGM emulation is the same. It's it's good, but it's not perfect. Yeah, you can't fault the emulation. Emulation's great. I've played enough of emulation over the years to, <laughs> to love emulation. Like, it's amazing what you can do with emulation these days. It's like a really like the PlayStation Classic for emulation. It's a fantastic emulation machine, that is. Ah, that was silly. What am I doing? Really weird that thing is the little emulator box is very good indeed. It was a bit of a crappy death right at the beginning.
I think the I think you're right. The Mister probably is the future of retro, but it's got um, a hell of a long time to catch up with emulation. I, I don't think I don't think it ever will. There's there's no way the Mister's going to catch up with me. It's definitely the future of what emulation is going to end up being is FPGA, I think. But um, yeah, it, it you know you can do a lot more with emulation. That is that because it's been around for a hell of a lot longer, essentially. But yeah, the more and more stuff that comes to the Mister, the more and more it's going to become the way to go. Yeah. I don't think it'll ever catch up with me. Meme's been around for so long to get to the position it is now. I don't think the Mister will ever catch up. The best thing people can do probably now for Mister Cores is, is pick all the arcade emulation, uh, pick all the arcade boards, sorry, that um, you can run multiple games on. Is get all them done. Like, you've got Neo Geo, obviously, and you've got the Capcom boards and the Capcom CPS 2. And, like, if you get PGM going and um, some of the other stuff that's out there that runs on the same hardware with multiple games, I think that's the key to getting a lot more stuff on, yeah? I think the guy who actually came up with the Mr. Project is probably correct. He... <sighs> He says he's, he thinks that all the arcade games are a waste of time on you, but I don't agree with that at all. Like, but his point, his point for saying that was, he was saying you're better off spending your, your time uh, making a core that runs multiple games. I think in some ways maybe he's right, but you know I'm not going to complain having this on it. Like if he had a PGM core going and managed to do that, which the guy who's doing the CPS cores was talking about it a little bit, you could get a lot of free more cave games going for starters, plus then you've got all the PGM games on you. Yeah, but I do think it's I I, I don't think it's it's ever gonna catch up to me. Be interesting, you know, what the future brings for the Mister Mind. I think it, it definitely is a project that's going to get better and better. The only unfortunate thing about having a mister is my analog consoles are essentially defunct. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It is. A lot a lot of the computers and a lot of the home consoles are emulated perfect on you, so... Yeah, if, if they... I agree with you. If, if, if they concentrate on arcade stuff, especially concentrating on getting multi-boards done, this thing's just going to get better and better. Like I said, I still don't think... I still don't think... Emul oh, oh. Impressive button fast enough, then. I still don't think emulation's going anywhere. I still th there's always going to be a place for emulation, I think. Which is all good. Whatever you want to play your games, it's all fine. Can't fault it at all. I'm certainly not getting rid of emulation just because I got a mister. I'm still going to use emulation. Fuses the hell out of me, that does.
I should be streaming the PlayStation Classic again, don't worry. And playing on the um, the Astro Mini as well. I'm going to do a lot more with that stuff. press the bomb button fast enough again. Oh, that was a bit better than the last game. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a laggy game anyway, that, isn't it? It's got four frames of lag anyway, that game. And then when it comes to the emulation, you're talking, the emulation's probably got somewhere between six and eight frames of lag on it. No, you can still play it and get used to it, but it's it's not, it's, it's not as good as playing it on um, the cab. I noticed when I was going to Arcade Club and playing it on the cab, it's it's a lot tighter the controls. But like I said, I still don't think emulation's going anyway. I'm a different ship for a change. Okay. Yeah. That's the only problem with missing it. They've, they've essentially got to take the board apart, haven't they? That's that's essentially the one problem, unless they've got schematics of it all. Making miss the cores might actually be a bit of a destructive process, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of the time they've got to lap the top of the um, chips off. I don't know what they did to do this core, whether they just got um, schematics of the actual hardware and did it that way. Well, I don't think they did anyway, put it that way. Even though if it's your board and you want it lapped, that's up to you. I think the tipping point with lag is probably, ideally, I would say that you, you, you want to be under two frames of lag, or two frames, ideally. But I, I think... You you can you can get by in using lag up to about four frames. And I think anything after that, and it becomes hard work. You can get used to it, mine, but you know, ideally, I would say that you you want to be you want to be going for less than two frames or two frames. 32 milliseconds. I don't know what the PlayStation Classic is, but I probably as a guess is somewhere around about three or four. It's not too bad at all. The PlayStation Classic setup seems re you know pretty responsive to be honest. Like I said, I, I haven't really had any problems finishing the games on there, so. Do notice a difference when you play in your mind, I have to say. I'd have to get one of those Leo Bodner um, lag testers to test everything. I would buy one, but it, it would just be out of curiosity, I'd want to know. I 
Like, I'm used to playing retro games through the Frame Meister. And you, you've got a frame of lag with that. And that's fine with me. With me. I can take that. I do play it on... Um, I do play my games on an LCD, but I, I play them on a, a fast one. This one I got now has got 12 milliseconds of lag on it. And the last one I had is 13. So it's, it's pretty responsive. I think with my joystick input lag and um, the TV with the mister, I'm getting literally a frame. Which is pretty much gaming monitor sort of... Uh, Most gaming monitors now down to about two or three milliseconds in but like good ones. If well, if maybe a bit more, I don't know. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I reckon I'm getting literally. TV, the Meister, the joystick, but a bar frame. Which feels fantastic, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, the OSSC is really good, but and unfortunately it's it's a little bit funny with TVs. And it wouldn't work with my um, Sony TVs. So I, um, I kept my frame master basically. Nice piece of kit though, that OSSC. Very small, isn't it? A lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. See, like I said, that confuses the shit out of me. Uh, I usually dodge it to the side. I thought I'd uh, try dodging it in the middle. No. Yeah, I got the OSSC working on my monitor. My PC monitor worked fine on it. looked great as well. I was playing the um, PC Engine and the Meg Drive on there with it. That's the one fan advantage with the uh, OSSC over the uh, Freebuster is it doesn't have that frame, that frame buffer. But the other disadvantage is you don't get the the compatibility is not as good because it doesn't have that frame buffer. That was a bad time to go forward. Game over. Ah, it works nicely today. Yeah, I can, yeah. I didn't. I, I borrowed the idea. I didn't actually buy it. I borrowed it off my mate because he couldn't get it working on his TV. And I had to play. I borrowed it for a couple of days and I was playing around with it. It is very nice. Oh, how much RAM you got on your mister? I wonder how much RAM you actually need for this then. I can't imagine you need much RAM for this game, can you? If 32 would probably do it, maybe. Yeah, the um, I will say that the Sega consoles through the um, Frame Meister, they look really nice as well. The Saturn particularly looks very good. Oh, you got a hand to it? Oh, I got one to it as well. That's weird. I wonder if certain RAM modules or something then they're um, slightly incompatible or something. Yeah, the Saturn looks fantastic through the uh, Frame Meister as well. Right, okay, here's the RAM modules. Ah, that's a bummer, isn't it? I'm not sure what RAM modules in this one. Three, two, one, go. 
I know all the cores work, so I don't know what one I've got though. Well, at least they can patch it out though, that's, that's pretty cool. Perhaps the other modules are just the way they handle RAM is slightly different. He'll probably get that patch pretty quick. He seems to uh, not hang around when it comes to updates and fixes. But um, Jake guy or whatever his name is. Right, okay. I always wonder, when they spin round, do they swap sides? Ah, oh, that was stupid. I thought I'd get through here then. If this one dies quick, they, pro they probably don't. No, they probably don't. I'm going to die. That was terrible. Kill myself. Right, okay. Yeah, that is pretty lucky. What, what make TV you got? I've got an LG now, and apparently they do. It does work on the LGs. Yeah, I tried it on a couple of different TVs, and I, I literally couldn't get it working. It would only, you, you could, you could get a picture on some of them, but you'd only get 480p. And now that, that was with. Um, uh, sync strikes in the actual um, scart heads as well. I think it's the way it line doubles its output and line triples it. Yeah, hopefully you'll get that patch out soon for you so you can play it.
Ah, oh, Pofo the ship. I think it probably is the worst ship on you, actually. Not if it's bad, like, but. Tend to do the bomb then, but see if I can take the parts off it again. Always miss the second star. Ship's handy for this level, I suppose. I'm in the spread shot. Ah, oh, what am I doing? That was really silly. Go to the side again. I was doing them in the middle. It's confusing. Too late, too late my bombs, man.
mu var artık evirdi. Yo şu gel balı bana beni. Backed into a bullet. Just about to get it done. The gun on the side has been a pain in the ass. Okay, let's just use my bomb. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? They they they, they were expensive at start, weren't they? And they went down reasonably quite cheap, and then uh, now they've jumped up in price big time, isn't it? I think it's because Cave never actually made that many of the arcade boards. Plus, Cave games have become to be renowned for. Their excellence, of they essentially, so the, the price has gone up. It's probably Mame, that is. It's probably Mame that's uh, done that. So if I get through here then. I thought I could duck back in and get through that. <laughs> yeah, I could do. Well, my mate sold his um, SNES one. I was looking on there, they're going between four and five hundred quid. And that's a stupid price for them to be truthfully honest. I said to myself, oh, well, I know, chuck it on it for like three hundred quid. There's still more you've added for ages, there's still more you've added. And he literally sold it in ten minutes. Only problem with car, but I don't know where to put it. You know, if I, if I sold the two analog consoles and sold the Boardmaster and then sold all my arcade cartridges, I could probably get myself a Vulix cab. <laughs> Which would be rather nice, actually. Oh, no, I don't want to sell the PC Engine stuff. I love it. We're on fun with that. Whatever stuff is on you. Yeah. So let's go back to the 
and then put arcade and then organized two cores. Okay. Ah, does that mean they both use two processors? Some of the old ha um, arcade games are hard to make. To go black tiger. Yeah. I would love to have a cab, but if I had time to put it, I'd have one. Well, have I already set up? I don't think I've set up this core. Hang on. Oh, wrong one. Right there, down that one. Fire jump, start. Uh, coin go on it, pull through it. This is a hard game. Yeah, room is a problem at the moment. No, I want to keep my engine stuff as well. Yeah, no worries, but no worries. Cheers for joining, as always. It's been a pleasure. And I'll be in that comedy uh, stream tomorrow, definitely. I might be under frag or in there, though. Is that, I tend to use that as my standard internet name. I can't remember where I've set my um, Twitch TV thing up as. It's either frag or retro tuna. Or tuna sashimi. It's a tricky game, is. Yeah, catch it, Eddie. I'm not very good at this game at all. The sequel to this is good on the PC Engine, isn't it? Um, really tricky game. Remember, I used to play the arcade board. To the arcade machine this back in the day, but could never get very far now. I thought I killed him, man. First of all, all right. I'm good. I'm good enough to say he is correct. Yeah, I always like this game as well, but um, it's really hard one. Sons on two is good on the engine as well, mate. Just pretty much a cutesy sequel to this game.
Yeah, very distinctive sound in this game as well, isn't it? It's got that classic old Capcom sort of sound to it. Oh my god, a couple of times then. Can't rush forward in this game either. Yeah, the commentary uh, stream should be good tomorrow. from the start now yeah so i i was practicing that for a while to try and finish it I, I i did work it out to get fairly far into it but i've never actually managed to complete it it's a cool game though isn't it? But you, you've got to get those weapon upgrades so it's just screwed if you don't get them you've got to know where they are and get the right amount of money Pass on it. Um. Man, this game's odd. There's a lot of keys down this way. Okay. extra stuff in there a nice animation on it Off you. Yeah, it is. Oh, see you, Dando. Catch you around. Yeah, there's loads of secrets and stuff in this, isn't there? And enemies and stuff dropping down from the ceiling out of, out of shot and... And the bosses are a bit of a nightmare, they tend to ram you as well, don't they? Oh, the PS3 were in the Capcom uh, collection. Nice. Yeah, 
never actually bought that collection. I don't know why I never picked it up. Damn, you still managed to hit me. Shit. You don't know where things are as well, haven't you? You've got to be doing the bits. I knew there was something else that turns up there. Maybe I'll go this way and get come back to it. Get more money. Oh, that's where the shop is. How much have I got? Mm. Oh, that's my points I'm looking at. Where's my money? Ah, right, okay. I still haven't got enough for a good weapon. Shield is it? Yeah, they did. Capcom were fantastic back in the day. Shame the Capcom though, they just essentially went Resident Evil and um, Street Fighter. But they used to make such cool games back in the day. Could be pretty ready for anything this game. Yeah, my mate's pretty good at the uh, PS3 one. <laughs> that was a silly jump. Did it, did it come with the Final Fight Twin Pack then? Because I know this was on, they had uh, like a Capcom collection, didn't they, back on the um, Xbox 360 and the um, PS3, which you can still, you can still buy, can you, if you've got an Xbox One? I've nearly picked that collection up a few times, actually. I'm gonna keep Ah. Go 
all went a bit wrong, ended. Yeah, I was playing Forgotten Worlds on here the um the other night. Man, I've got that next actually. I was thinking I wouldn't mind uh, a blast on that. I gotta admit though, on normal settings, Forgotten Worlds gets crazy. Later on in the game, it is just it is literally like too many enemies. It's a bit stupid. It probably gets a little bit easier when you power up. You really wanna... Once you jump in this game, you're committed to you, basically. Silly, silly. Right. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go down and grab a drink a second. And uh we'll have a go Forgotten Worlds. Um I haven't tried using twin sticks. I don't know whether it's possible to set twin sticks up. Um I don't know. I haven't tried it to be honest. Controls otherwise are fantastic. You literally just put any joypad in you want and uh, you just go to a core and then push cross and then down to um uh, define uh, keys, and then you basically just say, well, it's just like right, left, down, up. And as long as you're using the same pad, you can pretty much um, save it all, and you don't have to do it again. But there is profiles on you, so you can swap the profiles around, which I should start doing, uh, a profile setup for Joypad and a profile setup for Arcade Stick. See if I uh, jump, start, coin, pause. And then you, you can save it then, basically. You could save that set, and it'll stay like it. And then in here you can set various other things like um, scan lines, which I normally go for 50, you can set your volume and then you got all your dip switches then and stuff. See, that's on level one as well, Jesus. A lot of these cores have set these difficulties to level one. I sort of understand why they've done it because they're, <laughs> they're bloody up, but it seems cheating. I have no idea what the default level for this game is. It's probably three or four. I know some cores normal is free. If you reset it then, and then it um, it sets that then. Like if I go in there now, it's set on free. So then you can save it. So if I go uh, if I go back, manufacturer to Capcom. Uh, got worlds. We'll have a go there now. Hey, the controls in this are quite nice. When it comes on. Just waiting for it to sync a second on my TV. So they've got it coming out through the capture cards. It takes a second to sync back. Um 
yeah, so I'm going to do right, left, down, up. And then you want fire in the middle, turn left, and then turn right, start, coin, pause. Save that. What's, uh, I'm on the main profile. Save, and I think, let's have a look. Yeah, normal, I changed it because it was on dip switch, um, it's on one, right. I'll grab a drink, I'll be back now, we'll have a go with this. Yeah, um, it is the MVS coin up um, level. On Capcom though, I've noticed some of the games say actual, well they are normal and hard, and normal defaults to free, and sometimes normal defaults to four, so I'm not quite sure with the Capcom stuff. It seems to be either or ever. Yeah, you, you could change you can change that mind. On the cart you can save it because uh, level eight is a bit stupid. Right, back in the move. Yeah, you're right. Twin um, spinning games and twin sticks. Perfect, isn't it? Right, here we go. Game is uh, very tricky. There's a brilliant conversion this on the uh, PC Engine. <laughs> Have you did seen you the guy? Or did you find the guy? <laughs> I always quite like the arcade of this. I always used to play it when I seen him play this. Just odd though, you, ne you never got very far next, it was always set to a really high difficulty. See if the PC engine tricks works. It's basically ignore the shop on the first level. Nice looking game, isn't it?
would have gone down then, but... Missed the power-up end as well. Can't be far off dead now. Go. Cool. You cannot stop me with paramecium alone. Yeah, I love coin ups as well. I used to love the arcades back in the day. Spent half my life in them and half my money. Well, probably most of my money actually. <laughs> As soon as I ever had the money, I'd be straight on the arcade. Do, 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 Dragon coming up soon. Oh, I thought I'd kill him in. Dragon. I'm taking enough uh, energy off him. Come oh. on, oh, I gotta kill him. Proving to be difficult to kill him. Oh, you bastard. Is that right? Ha! The dust dragon is no match for us. It didn't take much to get rid of him. He's funny, the black guy. Time's in. Yeah, 
Yeah, Napalm's really good. On a PC Engine one, you've got to buy Napalm here and then keep it until the Crystal Boss. Because trying to kill the Crystal Boss with any other weapon is just horrendous. Yeah, the PC Engine soundtrack's really good, isn't it? It's the one PC Engine game I haven't actually got that I wouldn't actually mind picking up. I love the PC Engine one, it's really good. Even though the last boss is a bastard. that can take loads of energy off here. That'd be solid. The God of War. Let's have another go. I got a three button controller, that's perfect for it, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit awkward, isn't it, using the, um, the run button to do this, the third one. It works, though. I've got, um, I've got a one-credit one replay of it on my uh, channel. The PC Engine one, and the Mega Drive one, if I remember rightly. Mega Drive one's easier, mind. I really do like the PC Engine version, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind picking up one of those pads at some point. Mm. I get that. Nah. I've got the six button pad, the avenue pad. And I've got the um, the joystick as well, using the metal one. I haven't got the free button pad. Accepted by this.
Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, the, you've got the one with the controller set, that's really pricey. I don't mind just picking up the standard ones, it seems to go for about 40, 45 quid these days. I like uh, Mega Twins as well. That's nice on you as well, Mega Twins. I tell you, but I, I I passed over that game years ago, just thinking it wasn't that good. It's actually quite a fun game. Uh, the PC Engine one looks really nice. I do in some ways prefer the Mega Drive one because the actual collecting the money on the Mega Drive one is actually useful. It's not just points. Yeah, that. I think. Shall I? I'll keep my weapon. I think. I should like pick up a second hand um, free button pad at some point. But yeah, but see what I'm going for a decent price. There's no worm there on the PC engine one. That's dragon is definitely easier on the PC engine one as well, isn't it? Oh, you bastard. On a PC engine, but you can go underneath him, can't you? Underneath his head. You can literally stay up over there on the PC engine, man. It doesn't work on you, though. Alright, oh, cheers, mate. Catch you around. Ha! The Dust Dragon is no match for us. It didn't take much yeah, cheers for joining, guys. Chat's been good. I'm staying on for a while, anyway, sir. Going anywhere at the moment. Oh. Are we out? Yeah, I've seen them for around about that sort of price. In the pack, though, with um, this game, they're quite expensive. Oops. 
try and get through there without getting hit. Oh, this is not going good. Uh oh. Bad news, I think. Solid. <laughs> Tricky. I'll continue to look at it. Not happy. Yeah, no worries, bud. Catch you around. Cheers for joining. Cheers for the chat. Did the war god really die? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. must be saying his prayers now. Yes, it won't be on tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that uh, commentation up thing. So. This level is ridiculously hard on the arcade. It's stupidly hard. more practice in the arcade one is. This is where we run into problems. It just chucks so many enemies at you by your it's crazy. Check so many enemies on you on this stage, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? Are you, are you supposed to dodge that? But the enemies are still there. I'm glad they went. Yeah, really hard though. This is crazy. I got no energy left now.
have to go through this, but... Imagine this uh, bit up here that was going to be stupid hard. Ah! <laughs> Very tricky the arcade one. Right. Okay. Let's have a go of. Um, It's cool though. Check, check your boys. Ah, uh, damn, what's the other name for it? The Dynasty Wars? No. No, 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 no. Magic Sword? No. Mega Twins, that's it. Oh no, that's not, that's not the right one. That's Power Balls. It's weird, sometimes the menu, the actual game name does like a little bit of a bit of a jump, which is a bit weird. Get a sync issue a second. Go for a capture card, unfortunately, you get it. Uh, Mega Twins, that's it. I could turn the video back to more compatible mode, but um, I'd turn on two frames of lag in if I did that, so. Seems to new, may as well keep the lag as low as possible. For the end of it, that's the old point of this, I suppose. Start coin pause. <laughs> do, 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 right, which level should we do first? Do the flame level. <laughs> So the coins don't really make think, anything, they literally just points. Good idea going down fast then. I'm pretty sure that's NG. Console versions, you can basically sit by here. 
you don't actually get hit by the heads. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. better than that. Yeah, you don't get hit by the, the sort of um, the neck, so you can basically sit down to it. They've obviously tweaked the console version to make them a slight bit easier. To the first level. Mega Drive version of this is really good. little game you see it's quite good fun jump straight away because it's a fire fireball.
can still hit it below, but... Was that the real boss of the stage? Is a definitely harder on this one than the PC engine. Right, let's see if this is the same as the PC engine boss. Yeah, pretty much. I'll come back for a second go now, I think. Ooh. Didn't see him, 
seem to have fought. Shall I continue for the game? Don't really like doing that much, to be honest. I saw the breeds in. So, I thought it was a secret play. Is it worth getting though? Off that. Fun, but meh. Let's go back from there. What's the time? Just gone 12. I'll tell you what. Um, I do coal and I do. Uh, Section Z. You went squad, I won't go this and then I'll uh, shoot off the thing. <laughs> Remember to set these buttons up with this stick and then use the other profile for the pad. Scores. So just do my buttons over and over again. Try and understand. Let's see if he's any better on this difficulty. This front firing is not the best, but he's useful. Ah, you can get put yourself right in a position where you can you can basically um, stay there, and both firings he does will miss you. Well, that obviously wasn't it. sequel to this is really good. How are you doing? 
That's on you as well. I try and put myself in position again, I'll try dodging. That's it. Perfect position for the first boss. You literally can't hit him. How much money have I got left? Ah, shit. Shit, I haven't got enough money for that. Sometimes you start getting the planes when these turn up, and they're a little bit harder to dodge. I'm dying. <laughs> I 
Tricky. Right. right. I'm guessing I'll call that night. That's me done. Well, cheers for joining. Cheers for the chat. It's been fun, as always. And I'm going to call it a night. still live okay thanks for joining um so i won't be on tomorrow because ash map uh, kumite is on so bad uh, so it'll probably be sunday now we'll be back on we do some msx on sunday don't know why i like msx on the sunday just just do for some reason so um yeah i'll probably see you on sunday now guys cheers for joining thanks for that catch you around